This video is going to help you with some techniques you can use for your farm to estimate covers if you're new to measuring grass. With COVID-19, advisors aren't able to get out to farms, so it's very hard for farmers who are starting out measuring grass for the first time to actually get a handle on estimating covers and begin measuring using pasture base. The technique I'm going to demonstrate to you today is called the band method. And the band method is a reasonable guide to estimating covers of grass on paddocks. What it does is we categorize each paddock based on four different bands. Zero to 500 kilos of dry matter, 500 to 1,000 kilos of dry matter per hectare, 1,000 to 1,500 kilos of dry matter per hectare, and anything over 1,500 kilos of dry matter per hectare. Band one is the recovery stage. These are the lowest covers on the farm. Band two comes after the recovery stage. This is when there's been um, some growth already, but it's not ready for grazing yet. Band three are paddocks that are nearly ready for grazing and are ready for grazing. And band four is when paddocks are gone too heavy for grazing. And in the summertime, these paddocks should be taken out for, for, for high quality silage bales to keep animals grazing the correct grass for high animal performance. When we categorize paddocks into a band, we allocate the average for that band. So exam for example, band one is a range of zero to 500. So we use an average of 250 kilos of dry matter per hectare. Band two is a range of 500 to 1000 kilos of dry matter per hectare. So we use 750 kilos of dry matter per hectare as the average for band two. And band three is a range of 1000 to 1500. So we use 1250 kilos of dry matter per hectare for band three, and we use 1750 for band four. This paddock is a band one paddock. It's between zero and 500 kilos of dry matter per hectare. It was, it's one of the lowest covers of grass on the farm, and it was one of the last closed in the back end of last year. This paddock is a band two paddock. It's not in recovery stage, but you wouldn't describe it that it's ready for grazing just yet. So it's in the middle. So it's in the range of 500 to 1000 kilos of dry matter per hectare. So for this paddock, I would write down the average of that band, which is 750 kilos of dry matter per hectare. This is a band three paddock. It's not recovery. It's not in the growing stage. Really, you describe it as in the grazing stage, ideal for grazing. Uh, you know, there's a nice level of grass in it, it's not gone too heavy and it's ideal for when you're grazing in the summertime, these are the ideal sort of covers to graze. So on this paddock, I would put 1250 kilos of dry matter per hectare. This is an example of a paddock that would be in band 4 that I'd put 1750 kilos of dry matter on. You can see the grass has fallen over, it's very heavy. It was one of the first paddocks closed last autumn and there's also a bit of yellow material in it uh, from senescence over the winter time. So it's important to get these paddocks grazed off uh, before the middle of March. Now that you're familiar with each band, it's time to get out and walk the farm. Walk through each paddock and categorise each paddock into its appropriate band. Remember to use the average kilos of dry matter per hectare figure for each range. Next it comes to recording the information. We recommend using the Pasture Base Ireland app to record farm walks. To do this, you will need a Pasture Base Ireland account and you will need to set up your paddocks on your Pasture Base account. The first farm cover that you record on your Pasture Base account must be done on the desktop. Then, download the Pasture Base app. Subsequent farm walks can be recorded through the Pasture Base app. The app is very simple to use as it has a list of paddocks which you can click into and put in the appropriate cover for each paddock referring back to the band method. Once a cover is entered for each paddock this will then be used to generate a wedge and the pasture base report. The advantage of the band method is that we only have to estimate whether the paddocks are within ranges. We don't have to estimate exactly what's on them and doing this and practicing, we will actually become better able to estimate covers more accurately.